Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. And today I will show you guys 15 iPhone settings that you probably didn't know existed. These are hidden settings, of course, within the settings app of your iOS 14 device. And most of them are very, very useful. So you need to be aware and know that you have these options and these settings on your iOS 14 device. All right, starting off with the first one. Now at the top of the settings app, you will have your Apple ID. You tap there and you go to the iCloud section. Right here, we'll find your storage, your iCloud storage. Of course, you go to manage storage and then here we'll see all the different apps and what is using the storage on your iCloud account. And here we'll have an option right there that says iCloud Drive. Now, if you go here, you will find files that you have downloaded on your iCloud Drive. Now, when you download stuff from Safari, you will have the option to save it locally on your iPhone or on your iCloud Drive. So if there are like large files that are taking up a lot of space on your iCloud, they might be here. So go ahead and check these out. Just go to downloads right here, and then you will see a list of the different apps that you have different, sorry, different files that you have saved on your iCloud Drive. And from here, of course, you will have the ability to delete each of those files and that way, of course, free up space on your iCloud Drive. The two other settings are hidden again within your Apple ID. So you go to your Apple ID, you go to the Find My section. Now right here we'll find the Find My iPhone section. If you go here, you have it on, of course, always make sure that you have this on, but you will have two other options that you can enable here find my network and send last locations. Now these are really, really important. So find my network, what it does basically allows your device to participate on the find my network, which will let you locate your iPhone, even though it might be offline and send location right here, send last location will basically send Apple your last location when your iPhone's battery is critically low. So if you lose your iPhone, or it gets stolen or something like that, then the moment the battery is about to turn off, it's about to die, then it will send Apple to the last location of your device. That of course will be very, very important just in case you lose your device in order to find it. The next setting that you should know about can be found under the map settings. So of course you used your maps to navigate and all that stuff. But did you know that if you go to maps and you go to navigation guidance right here, you will find navigation voice volume. So whenever you're navigating, you will hear the sound of course that basically lets you know when to turn in all that stuff. Did you know that you can actually lower that volume or make it even louder? By default, it will be right here at normal volume. You can set it at low or at loud, or you can even turn it off completely. If you don't want to hear those voice, basically guidance, you can go ahead and turn it off right here, or you can change the volume to your preferences. The next setting is found under the accessibility section. So you go to accessibility, go to touch, and right here you will find call audio routing. So basically this determines where the audio goes when you receive a call, a phone call or a FaceTime call. So right here we'll have automatic. You can set this on Bluetooth headset or speaker. So maybe you just want to talk on the speaker or your earpiece right here is damaged and you don't hear anything. You can set this on speaker and then whenever someone calls you, you just pick up the phone call. You don't have to tap the speaker. It will automatically go on speaker. So if you want to do that, you can do it from the menu right here. Now under accessibility, you will also find zoom. So if you use zoom on your device, then there are some options that you need to basically enable here. So let's just go ahead and zoom out here. So what you need to do is go ahead and enable smart typing. Now this is really interesting. So let's say you want to type something while you have zoom turned on it will zoom on your keyboard as well. And that of course will make it really, really hard to type something. But with smart typing, then whenever you zoom on somewhere, you can see right here, I can zoom. But if I just go ahead and go right here to search something, it won't zoom on the keyboard. So I will have the ability to easier type right here because if that would be zoomed, then it would be very, very hard, of course, to type something. So it will zoom every other part of the screen, but not the keyboard of your iPhone. Now, under the zoom options, you will also find a controller for zooming right here, zoom controller. If you go here, you can go ahead and enable this 
and basically allows it to control the zoom with this button right here. So you tap like that to zoom in. You can see you can just move like that to zoom in and out. And you will have here also controller action. So you will have single tap, double tap and triple tap. And you can choose basically what you want to do with each of those actions. So I can double tap to zoom here, double tap to zoom out as easy as that you can have a controller to easier control the zooming on your iPhone. Moving on to the mail settings, we have two really important settings right here. So have you ever noticed if you block someone who's sending you emails, maybe like spam emails and all that stuff, you block them, you still see their new messages on your inbox, even though they are blocked. What you can do to stop that is go ahead and go right here to block sender options. Now, what this does, it allows to mark them as blocked. Of course, you have that enabled, but also you can choose move to trash not leave on inbox because this will be the default it will leave the emails on, on your inbox even though you have them blocked of course that doesn't make sense at all so you want to check out here and basically select move to trash so they are automatically moved to the trash folder which is of course much much better to do and what we have next here is swipe options so on the email of course you can swipe on your inbox on different emails to perform different actions and right here is where you can configure those actions of course there are actions that you might use frequently there might be some that you don't use at all so you can go ahead you go to swipe left and swipe right and of course you can choose what you want to do with each of these gestures now, something really important for your device is, of course, to have more free space. A lot of people struggle with not having a lot of free space on their device. There is a very important setting that you can check out here, and it, of course, will help you have more free space on your device. That setting is found under the Safari section. You scroll all the way down, and right here will find Advanced. If you go to Advanced, you will find here Website Data. So you tap right there, and you will see a list of all the website data that have been stored right on your device locally of course taking up space on your device so you will see the list from the one that is taking the most space to the one that is taking the least so we have just like a few here if you tap on show all sites it will show even more and right there it will show you how much space they're taking on your device and of course you can always go ahead and edit these so tap the edit button and you can go ahead and delete any data from any website that is stored on your device Next up, we have a setting for the notes app. So if you go to the notes and you go ahead and check out right here, notes on the lock screen, there is of course the possibility to enter the notes app directly from the lock screen, even though your device might be locked with a passcode, face ID or touch ID. So you will have here access notes from lock screen. So of course you wanna quickly take a note you can do that using this option right here. So what you have here are options to choose what you want to do. You can of course turn this off if you don't want to give access to the notes from the lock screen. But if you go to always create a new note, anytime you tap the button to create a note, it will basically just start a new note or you can resume the last note. So if you have been editing a note or you have been viewing a note right here, created on lock screen, viewed in the notes app, you can choose whichever one of these you want, then it will basically continue from there. A very interesting feature that Apple has introduced with iOS 13 is voice control. Now with voice control, you will of course be able to completely control your device without having to touch it, just using your voice. Now what we have here is a setting called overlay. Now with overlay, you can choose what you want to see on the screen. So right now you can see I have here numbers. So item numbers, you can set item names or numbered grid. So you can basically just command your device to tap each number. So Number five. Five. And as you can see right there, it will select the number that I just said. So from here, you will be able to basically command your device using these numbers. And another setting right here is attention aware. So what this does is basically turn off voice control. As you can see the little icon right there based whether you're having attention to your device or not. So whenever you're looking at your device, it will turn it on automatically you can see right here or whenever you're not looking at your device it will turn it off automatically so that of course is really important as it does basically consume battery and cpu power so you don't want to have it on all the time 
The next setting is found under the music setting. So if you go to music and you scroll down here, you will find downloaded music. Now, if you go here, you will see all the music that you have saved locally on your device. Of course, it will take quite a lot of space. So here we have all the different artists that I have saved on the device locally. And if I tap on one of them, it will of course show the albums here. If you tap there, it will show the different songs. Now what you can do here, I can go here and I can delete any song individually or I can delete completely an artist or an album from that artist and that way free up space on my device. And last but not least is passwords. So if you go to passwords under the settings of your device, you will find here security recommendations. Now what you have here is detect compromised passcodes. Make sure you always have this turned on. What this does is that if it finds, if it detects a passcode that is very easy to guess or that has been used or has been compromised, it will basically notify you. So I have just like put it some passwords here, just like random, just to test it. And you will be basically see it right here. So I just have their iReviews test test and it says that it is compromised and reused. So it will basically give me here a chance to go ahead and change that passcode because it's very easy to guess and it has been compromised. So that is it for this video guys. These are 15 hidden settings that you will be able to find on your iOS 14 device and iOS 13 as well of course. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new regarding your device and its settings today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one.